Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my first microblading treatment. Never done it. I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited. And I'm going to a place called Perfect Frame, run by Jonathan Paul. I'm gonna have Jonathan himself do it. Because I didn't want to, I couldn't trust anybody else to touch my eyebrows. Um, I don't want to do anything crazy. I want it to be natural. If you, here, let's take a look. See, the, there's some like patchiness. It's it's not it's not connected in certain areas, and there's some holes. Um, and I just want there to be more symmetry. I want it to be fuller, cleaner, crisper. So those of you who aren't familiar, microblading is essentially a semi-permanent tattoo. They will tattoo lines of um, eyebrow hairs to blend in with the hair that I do have so that I can achieve a more fuller, defined look. So I'm doing that today. I'm ex really excited. I've been looking forward to this for quite some time. Uh, it's 3.11, my appointment's at 4. Fortunately, it's downtown as well. It's like several blocks that way. It's pretty close by. And fortunately, they were totally okay with me vlogging my experience. So I'll be bringing you guys along with me to explore that. It's been a while since I've done like something aesthetic and, and taking you in with me. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Let's go. Okay, so for those of you who have been following my Instagram, you probably saw my post on my new car that I finally got, I'm so excited about. Check it out. Um, this has been a long time in the making. I have been driving my 2005 Volvo for many, many years and she served me very well. Make no doubt about it, but upgrade. <laughs> okay. um, so I'm, I want symmetry for okay. sure. Just a mirror, just in case if you wanted to point yeah. out. This helps. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, it's a bit patchy, I feel like. Yeah. And then they're different. Um, I feel like there's not much going on. Yes, yeah, so you want to add some like some strokes in the front there. Okay. I do want to keep it super masculine. Yeah. Um, yeah, I feel like clean and sharp. I feel like your natural shape is already so good. I feel like we just need to, you know, make them look more balanced with each other. Um, give it some more, you know, definition so it looks like it has, you know, so you have a stronger frame, right? Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll like sketch everything out first and then okay. have you take a look so you have the final say okay. before I even microblade, okay? So it's a very collaborative process so you'll see everything step by step. Okay. Cool? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any questions for me? No, not yet. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with, uh, with sketching everything out. You guys, I'm gonna have you lay down. Sweet. Okay. Angle's good. Mm -hmm. awesome. All right, so I'm just cleaning them up. So I'm just gonna warn you now, since you're not used to like filling in your brows or seeing yourself with darker eyebrows. Yeah. First few days might feel a little intense just okay. because you're. You're gonna have to adjust to like these new eyebrows, right? Yeah. So even by just like darkening the brows, it really changes your whole face, okay? Yeah. So okay. for some clients, you know, after they see themselves, they're like a bit weirded out. They're like, oh, this is different. Yeah. And then after a few days, it kind of just grows on you and you get used to it. <laughs> and then other reactions are people, you know, they love it right away and they're like, oh my God, this is great. So I always get those kind of two feels after the microblading. Yeah. Like I love how Natural that looks. Yeah, it's very just uh, yeah. Like I like what I said with yours. Like you know, I don't want to take away too much from your natural shape. So with this guy, kind of just like gave it more definition. Like from below, I brought it down a little bit lower. Yeah. Filled in those like little light areas. Yeah. I trust that you know like what is gonna go well on your shape. Face. Well. Yeah. Yeah. And the good thing is, <laughs> the good thing is you have a pretty full base, just like this guy. So yeah. the more hair you have, the more natural it looks. Cool. And 
close your eyes. Head up just a little bit. How long have you been here? Uh, this location, two years. Um, before that? Before this, I was in Hollywood, oh. um, near the Arclight Theater, yeah. uh, for a couple of years. And before that, I was in West Hollywood. Oh. So I slowly made my way to the east side. <laughs> it's much better out here. <laughs> I prefer it too. Right? I was in, um, I was in West Hollywood too. <laughs> Were you born out here? Did you grow up out here? Uh, I grew up in Orange County. Okay. I was born in the Netherlands, actually. Oh, wow. All right, so I'm gonna show you what this looks like. It looks crazy, okay? So you're gonna just see like a bordering shape with this pencil. Yeah. So this is so I know where to stay within. Okay. Once it's a microbeading, as you already saw, it looks all soft and feathered, okay? So this is just my guy. So I wanna, I'm imagining inside of the border? Exactly. Okay. So take a look, it looks nuts. <laughs> So when I microblade the front, so I'm gonna do you know more like sparse feathered strokes and do it a little uh -huh. bit more lighter here. Yeah. And then as we get closer into like mid to tail, it gets a little bit more filled in. Okay. Um, when I do the ends, you know, don't worry, it's not gonna look like they're so perfectly clean. They're gonna yeah. be a little bit more fuzzy on the okay, end. Cool. When I do the strokes from below, I'm gonna do these little individual ones so it doesn't yeah. look like it's like like your brows got freshly waxed or something, right? Yeah. So you know, I'm ready. I'm just really working off of your natural shape and just enhancing in the areas that I feel like need more, like kind of yeah. just like building your arch area because it's a little bit more like sparse here, right? Yeah. Giving you more of like a tail. Um, and before the actual microblading, I'm gonna draw in the hair strokes one by one, so you can oh, okay. kind of get like a preview cool. before I actually microblade it. So at that point, if you're like, hmm, I don't really like what this looks like, then I could like adjust it. I could make it look more fluffy, less fluffy more dense, whatever, okay? So, like I said, it's a collaborative process, yeah. so you have a final say. Well, you're saying all the magic words. <laughs> okay, good. Putting me in. <laughs> yeah, so this is pretty much my bordering shape, and then, yeah, you'll see what it looks like with the, the strokes drawn in. Because when I get a little photo of this, I'm close. <laughs> There's a video. <laughs> what I'm gonna be doing next is I'm gonna be using this tattoo marker. I'm gonna be dotting the borders of the brow, uh -huh. just so that throughout the whole process, I don't lose this shape, okay? okay. So for this part, just keep your eyes closed, hold your face still. Okay, so now I'm gonna apply the numbing cream. Form. Okay, so you can go ahead and sit up for this part. Alright, so I'm gonna draw it out with a pencil first. So I draw like the skeleton of the brow, so I'll be like adding more between these strokes that you see here. Okay. So let me know how you feel about something like this. Once the blue dots come off, it's gonna look much softer right now because it's still there. Mm -hmm. It looks a little too like intense. Okay. Well, let me know if you want me to like make this like shorter or like softer. My only thing is I'm not like huge on like a laminated look. Okay. So forgive me. Yeah, so let me do you want me to just like make it go a little bit shorter so it doesn't come out of the corner as much? Maybe. And once I like fill in those bigger gaps, it won't look like they're so like spaced out. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and then I think it looks great. Like oh. that. Cool. Want to take a photo of this? Yeah. Let me know when you've done some. Okay.
So far, so good? Yeah. And at the end, we'll be like finishing like touches and edits together. So even at the end, if you still see a hair stroke that you're like, mm, I don't like the placement of that one, I could still remove it while it's still fresh, okay? And then when I come back within that six months? Within six months, yeah. Do you, you go over the lines? I go to over it. Any of the lines that feel really light? Mm -hmm. Or um, fill in any areas that maybe didn't stick. So it all just depends on like how you feel and how good you are okay. with the aftercare. Okay. So does it not go as deep as like a regular tattoo? That's correct. That's why it's semi-permanent. Okay. Over time, if you don't get it touched up, it just slowly just starts to fade away. So how is that seeing yourself with like more like hair? I loved it. Okay, good. Yeah. Some people they're like, whoa, this looks crazy. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> Now it's freaking me out a little bit. <laughs> See it on both sides. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One side is like, oh cool, and then two sides like, wow. <laughs> yeah, I feel like with this side even it looks pretty much done. There's just like a couple like bigger gaps and that's it. You know, we don't need it overcrowded for this first session just yeah. so that it it's more sparse rather than it being too dark and bold, you know? Yeah. crazy new haircut or something. It's For like sure. Dramatic, right? You're so not used to seeing yourself with these brows. <laughs> Skin, you might swell a little, so the brows might look a little larger in size. Okay. So that's all normal, okay? Okay. So yeah, you're gonna notice that the microbladed strokes are gonna start to thicken up and look like they were drawn in with like a thin pen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. 